guys, welcome back to my channel. Here I am today, and it's hot as, well, it, it's pretty fucking hot. Here. So, we're gonna Peter Mon this bitch. <laughs> I am really loving, but first I'm gonna get this freaking bang out of my face because every time I try to talk it just ends up in my face. So, as is always the step, first step with my videos is I am going to put on my tiara and clip my bangs back. My tiara got a little facelift, can you tell? It's amazing what you can do with spray paint and some uh, crazy glue, right? Anyway, Today, I'm gonna play Palette Bingo! Yay! So, for those of you who haven't seen a Palette Bingo video, are you living under a rock? Maybe? Okay. So, the way Palette Bingo works is you have an eyeshadow palette. You have an eyeshadow palette. You don't get to pick which colors you are going to have. Instead, you use a random number generator, such as one found on the internet or on a computer, like this one right in front of me that you can't see because glare. Yeah, that's real science. Real scientific. Anyway, so I have a random number generator here. I am not cheating, but I am also not going to bother holding it up because you can't see and that's just the way it works. The way that it works is it gets to pick which colors I'm going to focus on and try to create a look with as stated by who I believe came up with the challenge, Emily Noel. Man, I keep doing stealing her video ideas. I need to come up with something my own, huh? Anyway, it's just because her videos are so much fun, her challenges are fantastic, and I'm a big fan of her videos. Freaking love her. I have for years. Anyway, the way palette bingo works is the internet is going to pick from this palette for me. So, this has 11 colors, so I'm gonna go into the random number generator, ask it for 1 through 11. Emily Noel's rules are you can use from other palettes, you can use from other things to incorporate, to create a solid, unified look, but you must use every color that the computer picks for you. Oh, and apparently butter is going to help with this challenge. Usually I don't do my foundation first, but I've already left the house a couple times today. Um, so I did have foundation. Oh. I had lipstick on too. But it might have just gotten put on butter. Whoops. <laughs> Let's just reapply that, shall we? The blooper reel in this is going to be fantastic. So let's get ready to rumble. Okay, first number that the random number generator has picked. Six. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. So the color is chaos. And it is a blue shimmery color. I'm gonna warn you if you pick up this palette, first off, check Nordstrom's rack first. You can find it on sale. It's where I picked up mine a while back. I don't know if they still have it. But if they do, it's worth it. The second thing to note is if you have really sensitive eyeballs, don't bother buying this palette because several of these shades, it says on the back, um, Slow Burn, Savage, Jilted, and Urban. So like four of the shades out of an 11 shade palette, they cannot be used around your eyes. It says that they are not for use around the eyes. I do, I don't have sensitive eyes. And I, it doesn't like tell you not to or your eyeballs will fall out. It doesn't give you like this is gonna happen. So I've done it a couple times. You're not supposed to. But I do not recommend it if you have sensitive eyes. Listen to him. He knows what he's talking about. So I'm gonna pick another one. Ready? Generate a number. Two. Okay. Gonzo, another blue one. Well, okay. Let's 
do one more shade just for fun and hope that it's something a little bit different. Three. Ooh, slow burn. It's that red color. So we got two blues and a red. How am I gonna make that work? But how are we gonna make this work? He doesn't know either. Okay. Well, I guess the best way to start is to apply a base. So let's slather my eyelids in goopy stuff. So since we're using an Urban Decay palette, why not use Urban Decay Primer Potion? Well, you know the drill. After I do that, I gotta lay out a base coat. Since I'm using bright colors, I'm gonna go in with a matte white all over the eyelid just to really make those colors pop. And since my base doesn't have any white in it or any way of getting rid of the colors underneath, we're just gonna put something on there that will, shall we? So the latest trend I've seen a lot of beauty gurus doing over on this YouTube platform thingy is I keep seeing them do the same boring brown copper eye but then popping a bit of blue as a either the eyeliner on the top or a bottom thing. Let's reverse this. Let's do boring on the bottom and big bright blue on the top. So these are both shimmery. So let's see if I can find a more matte, softer blue as my transition. And what do you know? BH Cosmetics has it. What are the odds? So I think I'm gonna start, gonna start off with this light blue, really light. Okay. So we got that soft blue on. Now I'm thinking, inspired by this handy dandy little BH thing, this has got a little bit of green in it. It's like a teal. Oh man, I'm gonna pop some of that on there too. Be like a mermaid. I'm gonna take that white brush, the brush I was using white on, and I'm just gonna go over here, make sure it blends a little bit. Not too much though, because I'm literally living for being a mermaid. So you got Ursula on the bottom, little mermaid on top. Could I have any more things in my ear right now? Okay. So now I'm thinking I'm gonna take Gonzo, that brighter blue shade. I think I'm just gonna pop that right here. Whoa! That is some pigment. I'm just patting it on and then kind of smoking it into that crease. The patting motion is going to apply more color, but the blendy blend motion is going to move it. And it can move it straight off in some cases. I don't think this color is going anywhere, quite honestly. I want to go back into my BH Cosmetics palette, and I'm going to go into these fun, like, almost greenish colors, and I'm just going to pop that on the inner side. feel like a mermaid. I'm really feeling like a mermaid. Oh, I don't want to ruin this by putting the slow burn underneath. I'm just digging this so much. I just want to be a mermaid. And then I think we'll put some chaos into it. <laughs> it's called chaos. And then I'm going to pop this into my crease and darken it up. Uh, I'm going to create Kind of wings and throw it into crease. So I'm just creating a triangle, and this doesn't have to be perfect. It can be quite messy because we'll clean it up later. And then we're gonna, so we've created the triangle, and now we're just gonna pat it on. And again, lines, don't worry about them, we'll clean them up later. If you really are opposed to cleaning things up, what you can do is lay down some sticky tape and that'll create your edge and you can go crazy 
And then I did put some of that into my crease and I'm gonna blend, blend, blend. So I'm kind of looking for this little bit of mermaidness. So going back into the BH Cosmetics, but I'm gonna go into a green. I'm going into a lime green and I'm gonna pop that right here and lay it over there. Pretty much I'm just gonna put every color in my eye. And I am purposely choosing from the BH Cosmetics versus the Electric Palette green because it is a softer, less pigmented type of deal. And I don't want like a big pop of green, I just want a little green. So yeah, this is gonna ruin my foundation. Do I care? Yeah, whatever. I just need to get some of this fallout off because the fallout is all over my face. And if I wanna do some bright red under here in that slow burn color, then I am going to need a nice clean base so that it doesn't get muddy. And I am gently swiping to perfect that little triangle. I'm just following the curvature of my eyeball straight up. So now I'm just going to lay down some concealer under here where I just removed it. And that will also serve as a base for the new color I am laying down, but it's also going to uh, cover up those purple bags that came back. What can I say? I got a lot of baggage. Gonna set that with some Makeup Revolution setting powder. I only use a little bit. This is supposed to be for baking, but funny story about baking. It makes me look creasy. I look flaky because my under eyes are not the most oily. I don't need to bake there. All right, so the slow burn. Um, last time I used it, I remember it coming out kind of orange. Oh, what we're gonna do is make sure that we get the most payoff. In order to ensure we get the most payoff, we are going to wet our brushes with some setting spray. I'm using the Mario Basket because this is my personal favorite. And you know what? While we're at it, oh, so nice on these hot days. I'm a little obsessed with this stuff. I find myself spraying myself with it all the time. Just because it smells good. Okay, so here we go. Goodbye, Little Mermaid. Hello, Crazy Town. Did a fun under wing there. This stuff is way too much fun. I just want to paint with my all over my face with it. With the wet brush. This stuff just glides on like paint. It's just glorious. We need to rename Slow Burn Fetch because we should really just stop trying to make Fetch happen. Okay, Slow Burn. I put in some black liner to try to make that more cohesive and ew, doesn't make it look any more cohesive. So let's try to put some of this reddish color and maybe soften out how bright slow burn is. Can you paint with all the colors of the wind? I can, but I can't make them look pretty. So that's my eye look. Am I happy with it? Well, I was until I put the red on it. Not so big a fan of the red, but not bad for my first palette bingo. And you know what? It doesn't look awful. And this has taught me a very valuable lesson. I'm not half as creative as I think I am. I'm not sure I take some more pictures of this. Maybe I'll decide that I do like it. In the meantime, you should subscribe to my channel. You should go check me out on Instagram because I have makeup on there that actually does work and does look pretty. Follow me on Instagram. I'm also on Twitter. Never on Snapchat. Don't bother. Pink Fuzzy Cow across every platform. So, what did you think of this look and how it came out? Did you like it?
did you hate it as much as I do? Let me know in the comments below. So, and I'm flipping fans. Cool, Peter Mom, I'm coming for your brand. As we're come up, the rules, as 